Gannon, how are you, man? Hey, man, how's it going, man? Okay, yeah, great, going? man. Look at all these hot rods and I stuff, know, man. It's incredible, isn't it? It's cool. It's beautiful out yeah. here. The weather's gorgeous too, man. Yeah. Usually, it's uh, we get a little bit of yeah. rain, but it's gorgeous, man. It's yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, the sun came out. Now it's <laughs> shining on all these perfect paint jobs. All Look at this rods. thing. Uh, yeah, man. This what is, is what is this? Man, this is a 1953 Hudson Superjet. Um, Superjet. This is my grocery getter, if you will. <laughs> how come I never saw one of these? Man, this these. I don't know. I've never seen one. Man, these are actually super rare. So they're only made in 53 and 54. The Super Jet was basically an added chrome package. And so they come in a jet, jet liner, and the Super Jet. Okay. And uh, 53, they only made 102 of these in production. And 54, they made about uh, 4,552, I believe. Oh, okay. And then there's about a total of 14,000 between all the models. Um, but a 53 Super Jet is just a real rare car. My wife found it for me. And so, uh, and then I built it, you know. <laughs> Man, that's cool. It's kind of like a compact little four-door sedan and type that, thing, grocery getter, whatever you want to call it. It's small, and it, and it works. It's, yeah. And especially the way you got it sitting here. <laughs> well, it's actually just sitting on the ground, man. What kind of suspension is that? Uh, so it's basically uh, all custom built. It's a S10 front clip that we kind of chopped down, made a two-inch channel, two-by-three channel through the back, four-link okay. rear, uh, Firestone 2500 airbags throughout the suspension. Um, and then it's it's basically a, a shrunk down version of a full size sedan. So uh, it's about 30 inches uh, narrower, and it's about uh, about three and a half feet shorter than like a 50 shoebox, if you will. Yeah. Um, and so with that being, I was gonna stretch the door out, make it a two door, but the four door on it being so small, it looks rad. You know, I thought it looked yeah. different, and I just said, you know what, I'm gonna keep it clean and just put it on the ground, yeah. and keep all the chrome, keep all the bells and whistles factory, yep. just so it was a nostalgia car, you know, versus yeah. being all the sure. trick stuff. Man, I'm I'm going, yeah, that's what I would have done with it too, because it, it's super cool yeah, the, the way it is. The uh, the interior was a. I just finished interior last week, and. Uh, it, I, I've been working on it for the past year since last rod run, and I wanted something to match the outside, but not where it got too crazy. We yeah. utilized the back uh, part of the 53 seat, um, and then the front are S10 buckets cut down about nine and a half inches, and then the door panel have all the original OEM chrome and badges, and we just put a little bit of flair on there to kind of spice it up without going too crazy. Okay, did you uh, squeeze a small block under the hood there on the S10 frame and all? We you did. did. Yeah, yeah, we did. We got a Jasper uh, brand new Chevy small block in there, paired okay. up with a 700 R4. Um, <laughs> and uh, man, it likes to boogie down the highway. And uh, like I said, I drive the car every day, so you want to put. I want to put a good power plant in there. I could have sure. put a an oh, old yeah. beater motor, but I wanted something that was reliable, starts up every time, and yep. uh, that's um, the idea. and don't want to leave a strand on the side of the road. Yeah, if you know, that's the idea, man. Hey, pop the hood. Yeah, I want to see it. Yeah, let's take a look at it, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, check it out. Yes. Painted the painted the motor all up the same color the body is. Oh yeah, you had to cut the firewall yeah, out to get fire. that baby in there, didn't you? Yeah, man, we had to go back about nine and a half inches to get there, and there's about a quarter inch between the top of the distributor and the top of the firewall. It's yeah. really tight just yeah. because of the clearance of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Sanderson headers on it. Um, uh, the, the accessories kept very plain and simple. Uh, we got Michigan Metalwork control arms on it, Griffin radiator, um, and then you know just a, basically an OEM package motor that's going to guarantee. It's not a radical cam. It's got an RV cam. Mm -hmm. So it's just a turnkey. It's got about 380 to the rear wheels. You have to get it down. The way car weighs about 2,900 pounds soaking wet. Oh. Um, so it boogies with that engine in there. And sure. I, I can't, yeah. I got the Elderbrock 600 on there and man, it starts up every time and runs like a champ. That looks great, man. <laughs> Thank you. Man. I'm, I'm glad people pick out these oddball cars. Very different, very rare get them up and running and use them and drive them every day man that's cool yeah man. I mean, uh, you know that's that's the ultimate ride to me I, I love that stuff the super jet from what year uh 1953 1953 yeah man okay. it's uh it's uh it's just a cool car and it's mm -hmm. a conversation piece that's all i could say sure. about it i was you know building these you know some people get them some people don't this car in particular it just got a lot of appreciation from all over demographics you know young kids old yep. folks i don't know whether it's the car color or what it really is but People genuinely just, they, they like the way it looks, and it's a good way to chat people up, you know, and it's fun out in the gas stations and stuff. I would say at the gas station, yeah, you're a one-man car show, man. <laughs> yeah, everybody's going to dig that kind of car. Yeah, man. That's yeah. cool. Oh, yeah, man. That's the new interior, right? Yeah, man, that's the interior. It's got kicker uh, DSs throughout in each door, uh, two in the center console. Um, like I said, the steering wheel was uh, cut from Colorado Customs. It's a Kenworth steering wheel, 18 inches in diameter, <laughs> and they put a GM hub on there for yeah. me. Um, it's lasered by uh, um, Superior Laser Metaling. Uh, they did all the laser work in there, and then I made the glass shift knob. It's actually got my grandfather's ashes and one of my best friend's ashes in there, um, and I made that so they can take a ride with me wherever I go. Wow, and how about then, that? Got the interior panels uh, with kick out on them with speed grill, Lexan lights behind it, um, all painted to match, um, new suede headliner, all piped out. 
um, with new door piping and teal stitch with ostrich inserts. Yeah, it smells like ostrich in there, man. Yeah, yeah I don't know what ostrich <laughs> smell like, but if it smells like that, I like them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks good. Thank you, man. I, know I appreciate that. it. Thank you so much, man. A lot of hard work yeah. and dedication. Lots and of hard work really goes it. into yeah. it. Right? A lot of time of doing this, a little sand in here, sand yeah. in there, tweaking, and, yeah. and just to come out here and hang out in a parking lot. You handcrafted that console yep. that carries all the way through to the back seat, didn't you? Yep, absolutely. Everything yeah. you see in there, uh, it was all labor of love. You know, the only thing I subbed out was uh, actually stitching of the seats and painting of the paint. I did all the prep work, body work. Um, all the cut work um, and then I just had Adams polishes come through yeah. and take care of and shine her all up for yeah, today cool. I'm really thankful for their uh, sponsorship on the car and wow. life's good man sweet ride man thank and you, I man. Appreciate, appreciate you man. showing thank it you, here man. on hot so rod much, madness man. thank you so much man